Hi guys! Um, today I wanted to do a little bit of a different video, but I've been wanting to do this video for quite a while. Um, Anna Sukoni Jolie is one of my biggest inspirations when it comes to YouTube. She was probably the first one that I started um, watching and subscribed to. Um, I just loved her from the start when she was style diet and up until now everything she does, um, how she wears her makeup, um, the clothes, how she makes everything work with her family and everything and I just admire her and what she's done so far and she has inspired me um, when it comes to making my own YouTube, YouTube channel and also getting some makeup that I know or that I've seen her used and I just wanted to show you some of the makeup items that she made me get because it looked so beautiful on her and I want to give you a little insight on the products I got and if I really like them after all and just yeah my over overall view on those products so I think the very first thing I got, and which I feel is one of her staple makeup products, at least it used to be, was the Rimmel Moisture Renew lipsticks. Um, she had a bunch of those lipsticks. Um, she, I guess she had like 8 or 10 of them, and it was her favorite ones. I remember a video she did where she... Where she um, swatched them all on her lips and told the viewers which lipsticks goes with certain types of clothes and colors and all that. Um, her, I think, I don't know if she even said it, but I got the impression that her favorite lipstick was the one that was called Fancy looks like that. It's a muted pink, kind of like a 90s um, pink, and it has a lot of shimmer to it. All, like, not even shimmer, more like glitter. And the thing about this one is I love the color. I think the color is beautiful, but I can actually feel the glitter on my lips when I use it. And that's why I haven't used it as much as I was hoping to because this one was so hard to get a hold of. They didn't sell these lipsticks in Norway Norway when I was looking for them, so I had to like search all over the web to try to find them. I, I can't even remember where I, where I got them, but it probably was eBay or something. The other lipstick that I got was the vintage pink one. And... This is my all-time favorite lipstick. It is so beautiful and I feel like it goes with any typical Scandinavian um, girls like myself and people that has a little bit of a darker skin tone than me. I just think it's beautiful and I've actually, I used it on a bright ones and she looked beautiful. I think it's just a classy, romantic color. I don't know how to describe it. Maybe like a, well, a light mauve, I think. It's just beautiful, and I'm so glad I got this. The next thing that I got, and also searched all over to get, is the Maybelline Dream Moves Blush in number seven, Peach Satin. This is one of my more, most loved blushes. It is a peachy toned blush, very natural, uh, very easy to apply. And I'm really running low on this one and I probably won't repurchase another one of the, these. I don't even know if they make them anymore or what, but I couldn't find it in Norway when I wanted it, so I had to go online and search all over. I found it on eBay, I think, or Amazon, and 
I just loved it from the very first moment and yeah so this is like a perfect everyday blush um, next up is the Urban Decay Naked One palette now she didn't get the Naked One I think first I think she got the Naked Two first I could be wrong but because she got the Naked 2, which I didn't really love, because at the time I was more into warm, warm tone um, eyeshadows and the number 2 was more cool toned. Uh, but I did get into the website, onto the website, and uh, I was going to purchase the Naked 2, but I just because she got it. But. Um, I ended up not buying it at all, but I did see this one and I thought it was beautiful and I saw all of the YouTubers um, that was really big. Um, they ha had one of these and I just felt like they made the most beautiful makeup looks. And so, but it was really hard to get and Nor Norway Urban Decay is not really, or wasn't a really known brand in Norway say five years ago but I got it when I was in Rome and I just love this palette this is my all-time favorite palette of just of all of the ones that I have I just love it and yeah so in in a twisted way she made me get this another um, makeup or eyeshadow palette, makeup palette, I would say, because it has other products in it as well, is the Real Techniques Modern Natural Makeup Kit. Um, I think she got it like last year or something, and I got it right after her. And it's a beautiful palette. I can't say I've used it too much, but that's really a shame, and that's my fault, because it's a really beautiful palette with four different eyeshadows, one cream liner, um, a blush, and a cream highlight, two lip glosses as well that I can't say too much good things about, but um, I do really like this palette and I'm really glad that I got it. The next thing is a nail polish. It's from Essie and it's called Fiji. She got this nail polish sometime around her wedding, even either right before or right after. I want to say she used it during her wedding, but I'm not sure. Anyways, she got it. I think it looked beautiful on her. It was just like a really natural light pink color, almost white, and I just really loved it. And I got it and yeah, it's perfect. It's one of my favorite nail polishes. The last thing, I'm not 100% sure, but I know um, this was a concealer that she used a lot, but I'm not sure if she inspired me to get it or if Chanelette inspired me to get it because she, she is one of those <laughs> girls on YouTube that also made me get all these products and I love most of them, but, but yeah. I am, um, this is the Bourjois Correcting Concealer, Bourjois Healthy Mix in Apricot, and I really do love this concealer. It's a really good one, and it's kind of a multi-purpose concealer. You can use it under your eyes and on blemishes as well, and so, yeah, like it. So, all in all, I loved all of the products that she made me buy except from the fancy one, which is probably her favorite makeup item out of the ones that I have. But yeah, she has good taste in makeup and good taste in clothes and she just, um, a, she's just a big inspiration to a lot of YouTubers, I think. So I thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if, if um, you were inspired to get any makeup from uh, watching Anna Saccone or any other youtubers and what you like of what you think of the products um, 
Yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye!